if you're listening to the car and you're on your way home, we'll be in turn your around because <laughs> we're in your house. We're in your house. Podcast, the podcast where we discuss all things horror. I'm your host, Mike. I'm Pat. I'm Dylan. I'm Jorge. Welcome back, listeners, to another week of hairy, sweaty weirdness. Woo. Um, it's been it's been a wonderful ride. How's it's everyone's been a week? While. We have a very special announcement before we get to another very super duper announcement. It is Dylan's fucking birthday. Happy yeah. birthday! Happy yeah. birthday, yeah. baby boy! It's Tw- your it's your birth day of birth. Twenty nine years of existence. Fucking taking virgins to town, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking letting them know Jesus. they ain't welcome. You oh, know? man. Well, I mean, I guess if you're listening to this, it'll be Thursday and it won't be his birthday, but you should still wish just know Dylan it, a happy birthday. Just know it was. Just wish him a birthday anyway because woo. Woo. And I have some cool things for about your birthday, Dylan, that I've, we've never done on the show before. <laughs> I didn't never, even know you were doing this. I, oh, God. I literally I was. Either. This is oh, something wow, we've never me? done before because we've never done a show when it's someone's birthday. But uh, just so you know, you share the same, uh, your birthday shares release dates of Wishmaster from 1997. Oh, boy. Bubba Hotep from 2002. Underworld from 2003. I'm sorry. And nice. Open Graves from 2009. Did you just apologize for Underworld? I knew the Underworld one because that when, I, when, yeah. I, when it was my birthday, that's what I went and did. Mm-hmm. Was I went and saw you Underworld. You went and saw Underworld. Birthday. But yeah, yeah, you share the same birthday as Wishmaster, so that's kind of fucking cool. Yeah. I remember one birthday I dragged my mom and dad to take me to go see Jeepers Creepers. Excellent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They weren't stoked, but I was thrilled. <laughs> so everyone's week been. How's everyone been since last week? I'll tell you how I've been. Oh, how God. you been, Dylan? Um, as you can tell from my koozie here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Jaguars, we don't baby. talk about sports Woo! ball on the podcast. Um, okay, okay, but the Jags beat the Patriots and fuck the Patriots. So, yeah, fuck Tom uh, Brady. This is really big news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very nice. I'm we've, over here we've, throwing we, up. We've never beat Tom Brady before. Well, we've... until now, when it matters, because it's now and not then. So <laughs> suck it, nerds. And I'm two and zero in my fantasy league. So suck it, nerds. Ha. Very happy about that. George, how have you been? I've been great. Nothing much has changed. You know, I just play video games and watch movies and uh, go to work. All right, cool. cool. Oh, and Halloween Horror Nights kicked my ass. Yeah, that was a great night. We'll talk about that later. And Pat, how you been, buddy? Good. Good, <laughs> just good. Wow, yeah. he didn't say bad. I went to his house for the first time recently. Yeah, he was just good then too. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, cool. Let's get right. into this. What? What are you gonna say, Pat? Nothing. Okay. No, what are you gonna say? Was nothing. It, nothing. Was all it, right. Was it happy birthday to me? Because I'd, I'd like to hear it again. <laughs> happy birthday, Dylan. Thank you very much. <laughs> happy death day, Dylan. So That's this week, welcome this week, to one we year close a, uh, to death. Yeah, we got a plan, a good show planned for you. We got uh, week three of John Carpenter. Ah, yes, Mike. Uh, these were your picks. These are my picks this week. Um, I kind of snuck four movies in on you guys, so that's fun. Kind of. Um, but before we get into anything, before we get into the world, uh, weird world of horror news, listeners, listen up. All right, something cool is happening on the podcast. Uh, we need you to stay tuned for later because we are going to be interviewing a person that was on the, the most recent release movie of Slice with Chance the Rapper, Paul Schur. Who? Uh, who? Paul, Paul Schur. Uh, you may remember him from such movies as Hell Baby, Piranha 3D, Piranha 3 Double D, or the TV show The League. And if you maybe listen to his podcast, uh, How Did This Get Made?, that's how you'd probably know him. I love that podcast. Yeah, I listened it's to it for the hilarious. first time, and it's fucking hilarious. I downloaded it when I had a plane ride to Denver, and I listened to them talk about Demolition Man, which is one of my favorite movies ever, and it was spot on awesome. I love so, it. And The League is one of my favorite comedies ever, too. Yeah, The so. League is a great so show. Good. Um, so stick around. Um, undecided on where it will be, so it may be an extra episode, maybe at the end of this episode. Who knows? But just know that we are going to be interviewing <laughs> what if it Paul ha- Schur. doesn't happen at all? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. He cancels on his last minute. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Not <laughs> on my birthday, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around for that, because that's going to be really cool, and we can't wait to provide you guys with that uh, exclusive interview. Um, so that's cool. 
Other than that, guys, let's take it away. Patrick with the horror news. What are we doing first? <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do? You want to do horror news or you want to do some new horror uh, trailers? Let's do news. Let's get it out of the way. Let's get news out of the way then. Pat, you're first up. Uh... Oh, okay. We're going to do the Joker. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the Joker first. All right. Joaquin Phoenix, well, first of all, got casted to be uh, Joker. We just got some set photos. Yes, very nice set photos. Yes, very, very good. He looks very creepy with his long hair and brown jacket and brown There's some vest. edits, too, of people like on the internet putting the uh, actual makeup on him, and he actually looks really good. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Um, don't forget to smile, y'all. So what does everyone think about Joaquin Phoenix? This is a movie that I have no earthly fucking clue what it's going to be, where right. it's going to go, and what it's about. I think they're just cancel- canceling their combined universe. And Robert, I think Robert so De Niro's in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what they're saying is, is the, uh, he's playing Arthur Fleck in Todd Phillips' Joker. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Um, Robert De Niro, as we just said, is in it. Zazie Beetz is in it. You may Ooh, remember her from yes. as Domino from... Uh, Deadpool, and she was also in Slice. Oh. Um, Mark Merritt. Mark Merritt's in this movie. I um, wonder who he's playing. I wonder. Brett Collins playing Thomas Wayne. Um, so I wonder. I mean, it's set to arrive October 4th, 2019. So next year. So I'm sure we'll be getting some sick news in the next coming months. I could see Mark Merritt being uh, Detective Gordon. That would be sick. Ooh, mm-hmm. that I is could see true. That. I could see that. It's I one, love Mark Maron. It's one of those things I didn't know I wanted or needed or actually don't really care for now, but I, am, I, mean, I, will, I feel like I, I will mean, get I mean, the cast stoked. is solid. I the cast like, is solid, and you know what? If it if, if it washes away that awful excuse of Jared Leto as the Joker, that's fine with me. I don't me. think that's his fault. I mean, we've already talked about that, but still, it's that Joker needs to be burned from my fucking memory. Well, yeah, it does, but I mean, it's not going to happen because there's a Suicide Squad 2 movie and uh, a fucking I'm just not going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. It's going to be directed by uh, fucking... Who's directing the second one? Uh, it's directed by... I'm going to watch it because that guy, I like him. <laughs> I don't even know who that guy well, is, but I don't know who the fuck I'm going to Mel Gisman, yeah. Who? Mel Gisman. Ah, okay. I don't, still, I'm not going to watch I'll it. I'll go with you, Pat, because if it's bad, I'm going to ring the shame bell at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say it was going to be good, but... Um, something that we're doing next week, we're going to be talking about a movie called Trench Eleven. Uh, pretty cool, weird movie. I kind of started watching a little bit of it. Kind of fucking crazy. But the director, Leo, Sher- uh, Leo Sherman, is directing a crime thriller named Goner. That picture looks creepy. That's from Trench. Um, it looks like something from, like, The Thing. Yeah, it's it's kind of got those vibes. So, um, is, there, s- is it one of those gross movies? It's going to be gross. Oh. Uh, but Goner is described to be like a um, gritty character study. Uh, about a paramedic moonlighting on, as an opioid dealer who has planned uh, who plans a violent pharma storage ambush. So that's hmm. going to be weird. Um, hmm. Dark. If you're into that like dark gritty type of uh, crime Ugh. movies, you're gonna like Excuse this. Um, from what I've already seen from Trench Eleven, this director's really good. Well, apparently, are they extending the theatrical run of Trench Eleven? In they Canada? are. Yes. So it's got to be pretty wild. I haven't heard anything about it uh, except for you talking about it. I, I sent you guys a trailer for this movie, right? Um, I a while ago, and I don't think you guys. I don't know if you watched it or not. I didn't. Um, nothing against you. I just probably did, was glazed over else. it. Yeah. Um, it looks crazy, and I think um, since it is getting that like that extended play in theaters in Canada, it, it's it's got. Um, Heat from the audience, like they want more of this yeah. shit. Um, but I haven't seen the tenth or the ninth or the eighth. What? Never mind. Oh, I got what you're doing there. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. They crashed. It, was, it burned. They, they did. Hey, Dylan, what's happening? Oh God. Well, you know, with the killer clowns taking over Halloween Horror Nights, the Chiodo brothers are <laughs> talking about a sequel. Chiodos. Chiodos. <laughs> um, you have yet to go to Halloween Horror Nights. This Ten, tonight is my first well, Yeah, night. we're actually going uh, tonight after this podcast. I bought my frequent fear pass, and I hope to be in fear frequently. <laughs> did you get the plus? Of course I did. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. But, what, uh, what am I, poor? But did everybody who follows this show, did y'all see the epic dance party that me and Mike had? Oh, yeah, that day? was funny as hell. Stay, yeah, follow us on Instagram if you want crazy-ass stories. Oh, my God, dude. The, our story was so freaking long. We do some funny shit. I went crazy. Uh, yeah, Patrick went crazy. Patrick got lost. But yeah, dude, apparently the fucking guys from the original Killer Clowns are talking about doing a remake. I'm about it. Not a remake, I'm sorry, but a sequel to a the sequel. movie. I'm about it. I'm about it, especially with the, the original brothers working on it. 
And as long as it has that old '90s look, and I'm sure it will. And the thing is, like, who doesn't want a second one? Hey, hey, A24, pick this up <laughs> hey, for real. A24, hey, hey. Uh, for fucking real. Um, but it, like, he was like on record saying that you know, with like the recent success of it, that Hollywood needs to lo- know that clowns are cool again. Well, it's They're in our scared. culture, yeah, because last year was all about the clown. Last sightings. two years, yeah, yeah. that happened. This been happening every October. I don't think it's ever gonna stop. Um. Hasn't happened yet this year, has it? Well, it's not October yet. Well, it's going to be happening. Soon. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm kind of stoked for this. I'm a huge fan of Killer Clowns. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. I guess we can plug in our panel now since we got it confirmed. Uh, Ooh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Dylan, did. what are we doing? <laughs> Even I don't really know 100% what we're doing. <laughs> oh, my God. But, All right, uh, listen uh, here, nerds. Spooky Empire is a really big kind I'm of, that part of the news horror-esque part. convention. That we do in Orlando every year, and the horror junkies will be there on Friday and Saturday hosting a panel. That's what I hear. Yes, that's what I hear. <laughs> Friday, Friday, Mike and Pat will be doing their own panel called. It's called Horror Then and Now Discussion for Fans. Uh, me and Patrick really we take an hour. We talk about our favorite horror movies from the old days and new, and talk about the bad things that they do today in more modern cinema versus the great things they did in vintage cinema. And then on the second day, Ooh. I, I will be at the I will be at the panel the first day. I yeah, will not we'll, be speaking. Me, me and Dylan will be there. For I will sure. be in the back in my jean shorts, heckling Mike and Pat. Bro, yes. bro, Please. me and Dylan are gonna sit in the back, just pounding down Budweiser's, going, yeah. "What do you say? All the Insidious movies were fucking kick ass. What's your problem? I buddy? really want, I want this to happen. <laughs> Please make this happen. Talk about Aliens Four. Um, but the second panel is something that uh, we're pretty stoked about doing because it's uh, speaking of killer clowns is why we bring it up. It's the 40th anniversary of this movie. 30th? 30th? Excuse 30th. Me. 30, misspoke. Uh, anniversary of this movie. So we are doing a Horror Junkies podcast live at Spooky Empire on Sept- uh, excuse me, October 27th from 5 to six, five to 8. Excuse me. Um, and we're going to be playing Killer Clowns live and doing commentary and doing a show about it as yes, well. Yes, we are going to be doing a live podcast for you guys. So yeah. if you are in the area or wanted Halloween plans, come to Orlando and be a part of our live show. We got our friends from Liverpool coming, Splatter Plastic. Yep. They're coming to hang out with us. We're going to get weird with them. So now is your chance to be a part of your favorite horror podcast. Yes. On that day. What's next, Pat? Empire. Zombieland 2 begins to film in January uh, 2019 January <laughs> That's the word you're looking for Yep yeah. Yeah. <sighs> And we'll be getting it in October 11th 2019 Yes So if you're excited for a franchise that No one really cares about Because <laughs> like the been movie's been out Forever And we're now just getting a sequel We got a TV series on Hulu I believe Okay so Wait, I, that, that, what? Was, that wasn't a fever dream It was real Yeah that was real There's okay. a TV show? There was a TV show And it was bad yeah, well, yeah, I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, it was that's terrible. why. That's that, why because it was bad. <laughs> yeah, Jesse Eisenberg needs to uh, redeem himself from e- fucking uh, Lex, Luthor. Lex Luthor. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. So maybe that could be this movie, but I mean, I feel like the zombie f- thing is going to be dead by then. Yeah, and not resurrected. I I I don't know if this was a good move. On their part, I mean, I think the time is a little like too time late. Is way a little it's going to be like Dumb and Dumber two yeah. or Zoolander two. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a cash grab from something that was popular. So and many probably odd not years even ago. a cash grab. No, yeah, honestly, like nobody really. I, I feel like nobody really asked for this. It'll uh, it'll it'll do good. though. I asked for I this gu- like years ago. <laughs> I guarantee you, it'll still do. It'll still make money. Oh yeah, I'm no, I know it is. But I'm, I'm still like, going to. I didn't it. ask. I mean, I asked for it like right when the movie. First came out, I wanted a sequel, but now I'm just like. But when do we ever get what we ask for? That's true. That's, true. That's so true. You know? Never. Well, Mandy. you know what? We get we get movies like Mandy and you know Hereditary, and it follows the witch. We don't ask for those movies, but it's so nice when they just get thrown out there. And, and we just like, and they're em. great. We just get them. Um, but that's really it for the news. There wasn't that much this week. Speaking of not asking for something but getting it, this trailer that. Oh yeah, man! Netflix Holy is pumping shit. out some shit. And both these trailers are both Netflix shows. The first trailer we're going to watch on the show is called Apostle. So, uh, have you guys watched this trailer yet? No. Oh, I it? watched it. Okay, dude, it's intense. It's, it's intense. So, Patrick, it's enjoy. Pretty it. fucking wild. That fucking synchronized. Choo choo. Your sister. She's gone. Why? These people, they're blasphemers. A cult. A disease. Bring her home. Name? 
Thomas Richardson. I dream of a world in which each waking day we rise equal. This island, it's our paradise. We have an intruder on our land. We have to find him. Who's the intruder? Your balls. Nothing like blood sacrifice. Your eyes. They've seen things. Who are you? It's me. And Gareth Evans, like, this seems sick. He shall be Holy shit. Yeah. According to the edict of this land. This seems gonna be sick. There's a man being strapped down to a table. Is but an illusion. God is pain. God is suffering. What the fuck? Beware false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Yeah, look at those body belong in that tree. Let us begin. Jesus. Please, Lord, forgive us. Or don't. Shit. You're, there's no God here. <laughs> Um, the only thing I got to say to that, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Netflix, man, they are, so that's they are like, doing it this year. That's exactly what I wanted out of the village. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it really does feel like the village. Like, Just it because of the really time does. era and like, shit like that. I mean, yeah. it's also like Wicker Man type yeah, yeah. shit too. Oh, like a man. But I mean, it looks super fucking good, you know. It I'm, looks I'm pretty sure that movie's not going to have a guy in a bear suit punch a lady in the face though. That is true. That like, is one hundred percent true. You can't count that out. Um, I don't know, man. It looks. I'm fucking not looking bizarre. forward to it, but maybe it looks really good. Um, it's torture. It's going to be a lot. There's a lot of torture esque scenes. That's so sick. Doesn't it have something to do with Lovecraft? I think so. It looks. Yes. Sick. They said yes, it's like a very Lovecraftian feel to it, or something like that. Good. Um, they don't show it, which is perfect. Um, but they show you just enough to let you know, like, this is going to be gory. This is going to be gruesome and hard to watch. Yeah, they really, they really did nail it with like not giving anything away. Yeah, really. because I mean, like, they set you up for things, but it's like you don't know if this actually happens. Like we don't know if the person actually dies or not. Maybe it's it gets stopped. Um, maybe so maybe. many points of interest. But Apostle, guys, that if you haven't watched that trailer for uh, yet, definitely check it out. Netflix is like I said, they're pumping out some good ones. When's that come out? Uh, God. Soon? Shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, holy shit. Ev eventually? Uh, October. Sometime. I want to say it's October. Um, Jesus. Why? I don't know this. Off the October 12th. Excuse me. Yep. October 12th is when this movie comes out. So October 12th, and then there's Sabrina. That comes out October what? October 26th. Why would you mention Sabrina now we have to talk about the trailer? Um, no, we then, don't. I'm just kidding. No, we're not going. Yeah. And then the next one we're about to watch also comes out. The first episode premieres on... Uh, October 12th as well. Wait, wait, the wait, wait. First, first episode. episode. I think this is a series, guys. Son of a bitch. So the next one is The Haunting of Hill House. Don't you know I like binging oh, everything man. in one day? Bleh. I apologize. What are you apologizing for? Or are you apologizing for My synchronizing no, wasn't perfect. Good rest. What if I have a bad dream? That's loud. Oh, I'm sure we can handle any dream you have. What if I dream that you sent us away into the dark and me get hurt? Damn, really okay, hurt. little girl. Shit. What if I'm so sad and scared of the dark out there that I put poison in me? That guy, he's, he's not a good guy. Like angry brother. Until my blood turns into <laughs> He's not a nice guy. And my heart breaks right in half, and I can't feel anything happy. What do they do to this little girl? Oh my Both god! The kids I can't stand terrifying. it anymore, and I, I have to die. She's very vocal. That's all. <laughs> and time Someone on a silver it? table. Is my jaw wired shut? <laughs> Would you wake us up from a dream like that? Netflix horror series. We're not like any other family. Oh yeah, there's like We're twelve. Different. 
Because <laughs> of where we grew up. Hill House. Wait, what? Have you ever read the book? Your mother, no. she was not crazy. Neither was your sister, neither is your brother, neither are you. Hello, darkness. Whoa. Is that house? <gasps> it's Mama. <laughs> A red door! Can't tell if she was scared or having sex there. That was very Rewind. questionable. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Sometimes it's both. Dream. Of course I'd wake you. <laughs> well, Netflix knows how to make fucking trailers. Yeah, so this <laughs> looks promising. Um, like I said, it's saying October twelfth. Now you said first episode. I first haven't... episode, man. Ten episodes. So they will they be might released, be doing that week shit. And they're gonna do that weekly stuff that they started doing. I'm fine with it. Yeah, me too. I prefer. I, I honestly prefer that. Uh, I do too. Because it like, takes me back to like I how I used to watch television. Nope. No, I like it because it. it uh, if like I think Castle Rock would be. Mm. It wouldn't have been as effective if you had if you could just watch all ten episodes back to back. The the the, I think one, the pacing would be off. It's like I just finished watching Ozark and I love 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 that show. Right. But I felt like if if I had to wait, ten weeks to get to that final episode. The 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 build up and the impact would have been so much more of a nice treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so. that is true. That and that was like that's like my major problem when it comes to like streaming services that, that do these TV shows that give you everything. The first like just like the first day opens is all oh, there's all thirteen episodes and you just you know you're gonna watch it all. Like yeah, but yeah. like shows like where they make you wait, like Castle Rock and what else was there that made you wait. Can't think of it. Eleven twenty three sixty three did that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a it's really Franco, effective right? because I think it mm -hmm. makes you yeah. you draw more to it, honestly. Or the Purge right now, which I just watched episode two. Purge. I have not yet seen good. anything from the new Purge series, bro. I watched I the first I'm episode. I'm into it. Uh, I watched the first episode of American Horror Story: Apocalypse. I'm into that. I'm, I'm into shocked. that one 100. I'm I am shocked, shocked that as I'm well. into it. Because I usually I'm hate really American shocked. Horror Story, and Patrick Ooh. knows that. Yeah. yeah, I'm usually not a big fan, but now I might have to check. This I out. mean, I've been watching a cult, and I was like, "Wow, this is actually really good." Then episode seven, Lena Dunham's in it. And I'm like, "Oh fuck, I knew they'd ruin this somehow." <laughs> <laughs> no, like, they, that's fuck. the thing. Oh, American Horror Story always starts out really good, and then they fuck up. Yeah, it, that's what it is. That's what I'm waiting yeah, they for. They never know well, how to end it. Well, she's only in a flashback. Yeah. So it's a flashback <laughs> episode. So I hope the rest of it continues to be good. Keep I watching. I hope that. Apocalypse doesn't do that where it's like mid season they're like I liked it fuck well if Pat liked it then I'm gonna fucking hate it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right guys I think that's it for all the news and trailers uh, that's it for the episode actually is. yeah the episode's over guys sorry what was that deal stay weird <laughs> no it is oh I'm just <laughs> yeah. I'm helping you confirm okay um so let's move on to these picks man my picks this week John Carpenter we we John Carpenter we got we were in the deep end of the pool. With uh, my first two picks, then we were at the very shallow end with George's picks last week, <laughs> yeah. and this is a little picture. And of now both. we're in the <laughs> middle of the pool. We're now not, we're in the lazy river. You're, you're just moving you're, along the moon in the head. but you're not too sure if it's safe enough to dive because <laughs> you might crack your fucking head open. That that is, a, I agree with that statement to the T. All right, um, what did we watch this week, Mike? We watched John Carpenter and Toby Hooper, uh, body bags. Which was um, Showtime's, I think, version of doing like Tales from the Crypt. It was supposed to be, but then they canceled it. And they it. canceled it, and they made it into a, a, an, an actual anthology, movie. three you know, three part movie type of thing, um, where John Carpenter directs two and Toby Hooper directs one. Um, we're going to talk about Toby Hooper's because it was fun. Yeah. Um, but the John Carpenter ones are going to be Gas Station. I think the title was. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first one was yeah, Gas, Gas Station. Station, and then there's Hair. Which was the second one? Hair was great, and then I, which was Toby Hooper's. Yeah, I was weird. So I was has Mark first, Hamill in it. <laughs> that's why John Carpenter as a host, perfect, fucking perfect. Oh my god, he was I like the grip, the grip keep. Uh, I can't speak the crypt, the crypt keeper. keeper. Uh, mixed with like, I'm trying to think I, of something else. I, I did. I, I, was like I that. read mixed with like nothing because he's the crypt keeper. <laughs> no, 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 I I read it was uh the John Carpenter as the morgue guy, uh, the coroner. 
uh, was uh, the baby a Beetlejuice until uh, the yes. yeah, Beetlejuice. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 Beetlejuice. And I was definitely. like, that is the, probably the best description of yeah. him. Dude, he just struts around a fucking morgue making corpse puns <laughs> and like jamming the cruise in USA soundtrack. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. This is this is I like this a lot. Like yeah. this is a lot of fun. Like oh, I, it was super fun. Um, and I, the cameos. The cameos. Fucking Sam, uh, Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. Wes uh, Craven. Wes Craven. Well, do you want? Do you want to go a bit like story by story? Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do story story by story. Yes. Yeah. Um. So I think the first one that was really funny is like it, starting with the morgue, is him explaining things all the shit. He's like, oh, but body bags. That means <laughs> murder or suicide or something abnormal. This is gonna be a spoiler review. It's on YouTube, you fuckhead. So. Yeah, it, it's on YouTube. It's an old. So movie. you can just literally just. Go up on the search engine if this you're, came if out you're the, listening to this on YouTube. Yeah, this came out in 93. This came out the year I was born, so it, it's a good, it's an oldie. It's only an hour and a half, I think. Yeah, it's not long. Yeah, it, um, like each, does each it feel long? Short was like half an hour. Yeah, and each short is very like, <laughs> but felt the other, long to me. <laughs> the other movie felt longer. Yes, Vampires does feel longer. Whoa! Uh, we've Review. already said that we were talking about Vampires, so... It's not a shock Pat. to me, Pat. Yeah, pay shocked. attention, Pat. Yeah, what treasure we were doing? Do we were doing Vampires? Wait. <laughs> I watch Vampire Diaries. I didn't watch Vampires. Yo, Vampire Diaries is a good show, so that's not like a bad thing. Next. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> going onward. So the first one uh, we're going to talk about is Gas or Gas Station, whatever the fuck the name of it the was. The Gas Station. Um, and it's pretty funny. It starts off with a girl getting uh, the girl getting jobs off at work. She just started a job at the gas station. Shocker. The Overnight. Skip. And the guy's yeah, like explain, the, shift. the guy's explaining to her like what to do. And I was like, that dude looks like a fucking nerd. And then I realized, <laughs> wait a second. That's Robert Carradine from Revenge of the Nerds. It, it is. sure is. And I was like, God, I knew it was a nerd. Ah. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire's to, dad. I just dad. wanted to throw on a Letterman jacket and shove that dude in a locker. <laughs> hey, hey, but he was in Ghost of Mars too. Yeah. Robert Carradine was? Yeah. Yeah. Who is he in Ghost of Mars? He literally has the smallest role in the movie. Yeah. He's is like, he get in the car, get in the get in the train. That yeah. was get him? That yeah. was him, dude. He's also Lindsay McGuire's like dad. Yes, he's <laughs> Lindsay McGuire's dad. Um yeah. I, I kind of like Gas Station. It was kind of a fun play uh, on yeah, the nineties just, slasher yeah. esque type of thing. And it was great to see the guy that that did Halloween just go back and do a little slasher. A little slasher thing. Slasher yeah. thing. I mean uh, it, no, it, no, take, no, it takes no, place in Haddonfield. Yeah. He does take place in Haddonfield. Uh, you got you got Wes Craven in there. I, mean, I thought on. it was James Cameron at first. <laughs> <laughs> like he walked by, went ah, James Cameron, and it was just like, oh no, it's Wes Craven. <laughs> and then like he perfectly exudes what every woman has to go through just trying to do their fucking job. Yes. Yeah. What are you reading? That is something for school. Like, you know, I didn't go to school. I didn't read. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, I got a bottle of bourbon in my car. You want to go drink? Maybe it? I can get you out of that fucking pond, and you can come. Have sex with me in the back of my Nissan Sentra. <laughs> it's just like, could you make that any less appealing, you fucking creep? <laughs> well, his hair's all fucked up and shit. Yeah, like a bottle of bourbon. You think she wants to make it with your bug eyed looking fucking <laughs> self? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Like, why don't you cut work? You know, no. Oh, God. <laughs> um,. Dude, and uh, the 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 homeless guy is uh, George Flower. Yeah. Oh, Buck Again. Flower, oh, baby. Buck Flower. Oh, Buck in, Flower. He's in a lot of Carpenter movies. Yeah. There, there was no broom this time, but he still and ended it, up in the truck. I your, that much. And I use your can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. take a nap. <laughs> he was so creepy though. Like when she would leave, when she left the fucking uh, the booth. And the thing about the booth is, if you when you lock the door, it shuts uh, and locks. Uh, and she forgot the fucking key. Why did she put it in her pocket? I don't know. First yeah. day, man. That's true. I mean, I did like. I understand like that. Why didn't she put in a key? But I also understand it was her first day. She overlooked that little well, she, thing. Well, she gets hit on by creepy old Wes Craven, <laughs> and then gets hit on by suave David Noddington, who was fucking. <laughs> he was uh, what's his name? Uh, he was David Kessler in American Werewolf in London. Yep. Yes, he was. Rolls up in the cool convertible. Like this was smooth, smooth talker right there. Smooth I mean, oh criminal yeah. right there. She, oh. don't, she doesn't know that he's a werewolf, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he she made a tomato, right? Yeah. And uh, he he can't, comes in. And he does it right the way you should do it. He's smooth. He's asking her what she studies, and he's he seems like an intellectual. He's more attractive, put together. The cool leather jacket cool. and the convertible. Oh yeah. Just like there's a cool jazz bar, you know, yeah. like. Oh, you go to the college, the university? He was like oh. the physical embodiment of that one CD that Bruce Willis made. 
the return of Bruno or some yeah. shit. Oh, God. <laughs> he's like that. He's like the embodiment of that dude. Also the embodiment of something, the dude that rolls up. Next, the dude oh, yeah. Alvarado. That dude is fucking a, Peter Jason. Peter Jason, the that, gentleman. That dude is a walking Harvey Weinstein fucking <laughs> yeah. lawsuit waiting yeah. to happen. Yeah, I yeah, I can agree with that he statement. Just, he just rolled in from Margaritaville. He's like, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> no lie, if it was the right time, he's jamming Jimmy Buffett. Like, yeah, the Margaritaville <laughs> lawsuit of, waiting to happen. Straight out of Margaritaville. Um, he's like, oh no, he's just in there sleeping, darling. He's 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 wrapped around the toilet. Just hey, yeah. sugar tits, can I use the can? Yeah, for <laughs> real. Like, <laughs> let me just go. Hey, sugar tits. Hey, let me get some gas. By the way, can I use your can? Yeah, uh. and then like she goes in there to check on the dude, and someone drew a fucking Cannibal Corpse album cover on the <laughs> stall. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? yeah, because the serial killer in the area is doing performing satanic rituals. L- that's literally what See, it was, and it was awesome. Whatever they would have thought would have been fun is he could have so easily thrown in uh, Michael Myers into this. I thought that. Yeah, right? Like, you know, you're in Haddonfield. There's a yeah. serial killer on the loose. He could have, like, and it would have been, to me, I think it would have worked fine. Throw out the satanic part of it, of course, and just have, like, you know, your shape come back, man, and just do one final quick 30-minute slasher. Yeah. Um, but think of the ratings boost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we uh, have Michael Myers in our movie. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. Um, but the guy who was the killer was Bill? The gas yeah. station attendant? No, Bill. Bill is Sam Raimi. Yeah, Bill died. Yeah, Sam Bill. Raimi's Sam Raimi's cameo was a dead corpse. <laughs> That's right, and a picture. <laughs> he was a picture on a dead corpse. It was the fucking. It was the nerd. It was the nerd. That's the right. Nerd. Sorry. Yeah, that's why you never trust a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, he's the killer, and you know. I have a lot of problems. That's where, like, the problems really start with this movie. Dude, but that's it where it took of, a turn for the worst. It kind of fits 90s slasher movies, though, too. Like, yeah. she locks herself into, like, the employee room, and he, he instead of an axe, he's using a sledgehammer, which I thought was perfect. He was literally breaking that glass. Like, that was that was real. That was, <laughs> He was just hammering away 30 minutes trying to break Dude, through this I, fucking glass. I, I just love that when he breaks the glass, he finally just throws the sledgehammer, and he's just like, whoop. But then he has it again. Yep. When he does the door, and he like he throws the, sh- the sledgehammer, and then he uses it again to break the door. You down. know, what I don't get. <laughs> she ran past a perfectly good fire extinguisher. Yeah, <laughs> there's one way into this, and it's through the fucking thing. Why don't you spray him with the fire extinguisher, and, and then run fucking the bash his brains in? Because here, think about it. She had three to four chances to finish this dude off. Oh yeah, and she just didn't do it. Where's, no. where's the fun in that? I guess you don't have a where, horror movie if you don't that? do that. Yeah, yeah. But like, but the thing is, is the it was very Halloween esque. Did, did, did she trip? Did she trip? Did she trip? No, she, she didn't trip. But this mm. movie was definitely she was filmed in because she didn't fucking finish them off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this movie was filmed in one location in one location only. Um, so like, I feel like they couldn't do it much because like, so he finally breaks into the door. She hits him with a chair. It like obliterates him. Dude, I like, thought. I, dude, at that moment, I thought he was dead, and I was like. That, that's it. Turns into a fucking tables, like, ladders, and chairs match. Yeah, like <laughs> she hits him in the it. chair. He falls down. He does the most the the worst acting ever, dying or being knocked out. And then she leaves, and then he's back. And then he and just, then he dies again. But he just knocks. He just falls back down. <laughs> yeah, he and then like- she just runs like ten feet away and sits down. And it's like. You guys couldn't leave the parking lot, could you? He, like, did, he, <laughs> he didn't look like he was like he looked like he was like at the climax of a, like a quaalude high. Yeah, just like passing out, like I get him knocked out now. <sighs> then like six seconds later, I'm awake. <laughs> like, yeah, no, just getting him knocked out again. But yeah. like I agree, she could have finished him several multiple times, multiple times. But we wouldn't have got that awesome fight of <laughs> nerd versus werewolf versus truck. <laughs> yeah. That's the true, <laughs> because she. Because she not because uh, he was fighting the dude the the suave handsome dude who came back for his credit card, and he got knocked under the truck and she dropped the very slow, very impending truck lift on top of him yeah. and all the blood that came out was very <laughs> sick. Yeah, that was a great scene. That was yeah. literally in my notes like, oh my god, the blood splatter. Was just that was the best flowing. part of the whole thing. Uh, the dead homeless guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, poor poor Buck. She just fucking pushes his ass. Fuck you and like, to, like <laughs> fuck to, you, to drive the truck away. Uh, but I mean that's really it. That's, that's it was just like short, a little fun slasher little thing. Little yeah. fun slasher thing. Patrick, what do you what do you think? You haven't said much about it. What do you what do you think? Oh, uh, I liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. 
Did you enjoy the second one? Yeah. Oh, that was my favorite. <laughs> Dude, okay. I had that was my least favorite. I had really. I had personal ties <laughs> to the hair, right? I felt All a little. Right. <laughs> so the hair huh. is the second part of the okay, fucking. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to the hair, so you go back to the morgue in between the uh, oh, yes. little shorts. Yeah. Are we, are we talking about the cadavers in the <laughs> oh, yes. ice chest? Okay. Oh, yes. This is <laughs> a fun one. He starts saying, he's like, all right, the body bags, but you know, they have like the little, what, what are they fucking called? The little refrigerator thingies? The, Oh, um, oh, oh! Shelves they put them in with, yeah. the, with the massive knockers. That yeah. yeah, yeah. And he just goes to pull out a dead a body of a girl, and he's like, "Oh, it's just they like they're a little hard." Just like the fake boobies, like they're like a little bit of hard and the cold. And, like, no, it was like we got to recycle these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he goes and like the titties just get stuck in the fucking doors. I'm you like, can oh tell my he had God, fun. What is this? Movie? Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you can tell he had fun. That's why I was like, and I feel like if they brought this back, oh my God, it would do so much better. It would do massive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh and like, dude, I was having a kick with it because then like there's two other bo- like decapitated bodies just like switches the I heads mean, and he's like fucking like laughing well, about same, it. Same, uh, I mean, think about it. Do we have anything right now that's like little shorts of horror with a host? Not, Not yet, but it's coming back. To. Think of a, think of how think of it how good it would be for indie directors to get a shot at making something and then getting exposed for wow, I saw your little short I saw your short on body bags. Yeah. Why don't you come do this other movie? Yep. Be a great way to expose like up indie directors, directors yeah. Yeah. up and coming directors, but also like if you had bigger directors, a le- letting them have take the reins and have Freedom. fun with something and not worry about a produ- a production budget or like uh, exactly. producers getting their hands and changing things. Like imagine if like Guillermo del Toro. I hate to bring him up. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! We don't hate to bring him Guillermo up. Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> yeah, but think about someone like him just being like, make what you want. Yeah, thirty minute movie. Make Lovecraft whatever you movie. want. Oh my god, he could do something really fucking cool. And even someone like Eli Roth or like. No, that'd be Fucking, bloody. Oh, uh, no, I agree. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, it'd be, be so exciting. Um, John Carpenter could host it again. Yeah. I All right, someone that. text John Carpenter right now. Oh, yeah, I, let, I, me, go, I, let I, me go I, text I, him right now. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm on a first name basis. Hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> L- listen here, John. We should bring back um, body yeah, so bags. so hair was the second one. So hair. Uh, first of all, because th- you saw the dude, and then you saw his wife, and I went, No way. She likes him? Yeah. It's like what I thought in first contact. <laughs> the the fucking Jodie Foster movie. I I it's not. I didn't believe the aliens. I didn't believe that she was hooking up with Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> 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 I was like, are you serious? And they're like, this is an alien movie. I'm like, no, that's that's real. But Matthew, <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is not hooking up with Jodie Foster. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> certainly not. So in Hair, the main guy is Stacy Keach, um, and he's playing a guy who. Who is balding? He's balding. Not and even that bad. No, not even it's that bad. It's really not that bad. But no. you know, ma- fragile male egos and, and their hair. Um, I and mean, the back was pretty bad. I guess. I, I, yeah, I, I guess. But, but like, he went like, to the stylist, and like the stylist hooked him up. Hooked yeah, and he, he had a nice haircut, and then he, and saw then he went and fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, then he went and fucked it up, and he was just John so Carpenter did this, right? Yes. Is he balding? Jo- yeah, I mean, John you Carpenter. saw him in the fucking thing. Yeah, dude. <laughs> John Carpenter's balding. So he probably just made this as like a thing, like he was probably going through. Maybe, yeah, that's possible. But I mean, John Carpenter is I, indeed. This balding. is this was my. Pr- I lo- I like this one because it was hilarious because it was literally like super fragile male ego. But like his super hot girlfriend's like, honey, you look fine. Like, I, I'll still fuck you. It's fine. He's like, no, no. Like, but up. wait, it's that contradicts itself enough. later on in the fucking movie though. How? When he gets the fucking hair and she's all like, oh, now. I- like really wants to fuck him. Oh, of course. Well, yeah, he, he's more attractive, but she was not saying like, "Oh, you're ugly. Yeah, you're holding. I'm leaving." You'll you. still love your wife, but if she gets a boob job, like you might be a little more attracted to her <laughs> just because you know it is what it is. There's bigger boobies. Yeah, much. I mean, fuck. You'll <laughs> you love her regardless. <laughs> yeah, but if she, if that if that's what he or she wants to do, then fine. Do it. And if you're more attracted to him for it, and you just now realize it, that's not your well, fault. Well, apparently they are, because they were fucking going to town. But, but yeah, yeah. so she goes and meets up with the doctor with the experimental thing, which I've kind of realized, you don't just don't sign up for the experimental... Anything. Anything. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Dr. Locke, you mean? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, he was, he was Jennings in The Omen. <laughs> he was the photographer. Yeah. Oh, God. But then, like, I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, he's so untrustworthy. I was like, why don't I trust him? Then I realized... He was of one of the fucking. He was like the main Pinkerton agent in Titanic. <laughs> was he? Was he? Yeah, I was like, why would you trust Spicer Lovejoy from the Titanic? <laughs> all he wanted to do was was ruin what Leo had with that. That's all he wanted to do. Oh God! She that said, "Draw me like one of your French girls," and he was like, "Not on my watch." <laughs> <laughs> he was Not an asshole, day, motherfucker. Yeah, he was an asshole. Him and Billy Zane. Jesus Christ! Yeah, Pat, so why do you not trust him? <laughs> it's true. 
But Pat, what did you like about this one? Well, the aliens look like shit. <laughs> dude, no, they, so, dude, they look so like right. baby shit. trimmers. The baby trimmers, yeah. They they look like shit, but I don't know. Out of all three of them, I thought this was like more fun. <laughs> Yeah, it it was fun. I mean, like the machine, like they take a picture of him and they scan it, and they have different styles. Yeah. And it was like we call this one the Republican. <laughs> I could have saw. Well, um, it is between this one and the eye because I did I did enjoy eye. I could have I could have saw Cronenberg doing this one. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, that would yeah. I like that. Like he chooses the stallion version. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah the wild how, stallion. I love how he's like, "What do you want to look like?" And he's like, "Um, I want to look like Top Dollar from The Crow." <laughs> Like and the <laughs> hair didn't work for him at all. No, really, like he no. looked worse. He looked like, he looked like the New Balance version of Fu Manchu. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oof. Ugh. That's that's hurtful. But the movie gets gross. I don't See, know him. They put on this protein gel thing in his scalp. Mm-hmm. No surgery needed from Doctor Locke. Remember, after his hair his hair plants, he bought the company. That was after like every time he did the commercial, he would say, "And after my hair implants, I bought the company." <laughs> Oh, yeah. No one thought that was funny. I thought that was hilarious. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I uh, wasn't. I probably wasn't paying attention because I kind of checked out on that one a little bit. Um. But yeah, he gets the hair. He wakes up the next morning. He grows up. His gr- hair grew like fucking six inches or some shit. Yeah. And he's like fucking glorious. <laughs> like almost like glorious. Like, he's like you'd have like hair in mane fucking on in a shower like uh uh Will Ferrell from Blades and Glory. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's how I used to feel. Um. And now my hair is gone. Uh, Your fault. Your fault. Um, yeah, but you cut it. You're not balding. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go there. Um, is George balding? George, you want to talk uh, about it? Wants, you want to see Dr. Where? Locke get some hair about. worms? Where? But what <laughs> I liked about the- Let me look at you. The thing is, after his hair implants, like he like has this tickle in his throat. Patrick, sit down. And he thinks That's that your he's- fucking hairline, you idiot. And he thinks that he's um getting sick, but actually it's a fucking hair- no. Growing in his throat, I like that. I thought that, that was, was disgusting. No, yeah, like hair Dude. in your mouth is like so <laughs> fucking. No, I, I, I could uh, visually watching it, I could feel it, and I was like, <laughs> 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 no, he cuts it, and or I hear it. Like, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, oh, they're little, 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 little <laughs> organisms. Um, but yeah, that I think that's a like that's the most effective scene is like the you the feel like hair. the hair would be in your throat. I think yeah. that yeah. was really effective, and then it just keeps growing. And growing. And growing and shit and it's, coming it's, out of his skin. It, but it's gross. It's super gross. Like, he's got, like, these open sores where things coming out of them. And ugh. Yeah, that was just disgusting. Dude, uh, it's so I funny it. that, like, towards the end, you could just tell, like, in the back of his head, he's like, God fucking damn it, why didn't I just stay bald? I just like the fact that John Carpenter made this movie. Yes. Like, this little short. I agree. I think it's, it's a treat. It's different from most things that he did. Because yeah, the done. aliens had to eat brains. They had that's the only thing they can eat is like human brains. Yeah. Human brains. Yeah. Um, and then that, that's kind of really it. That's all that happens. He kind of just accepts his fate. And yeah, he just sits there with a No, yeah. I, I just think enough of his brain was eaten to where like he just became a Ooh, vegetable. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. That's true. Maybe yeah. that because like, he, he was so like emotionless at the end. Like, he wasn't even talking. He just kind of sat there and he was like, oh. yeah, okay, this is fine. Yeah, he was okay. pretty dumb. And then the nurse is like, oh, yes, this one fits you perfectly. Dude, that was so You're funny. So when he was sexy. saying that, like, every time they would try Building something new or he ego. would say something, she'd be like, oh, yeah. Oh, I just, I mean, it sells. <laughs> Sex sells. I mean, like, yeah. if you. You're looking at these hair designs, and you have a, a, a woman next to you saying, "Like, oh wow, you would look, you know, sexy with that hair." You're more likely to get that haircut. Like, it's just, just perfect psychology. Um, so I thought that was a fun treat as well. And then she's just picking the worms out of him, <laughs> which is fun. Gross. Worms are crawling out of their and fucking then we eyes got, and shit. Then we cut back to John Carpenter and more wisecracks about corpses. You're drinking <laughs> formaldehyde with <laughs> eyeballs <laughs> martinis. And shit. The eyeball martini was sick. Um, that was a lot of fun. And then we, yeah, we get to after that we get to the last short in this movie, which is directed by Toby Hooper. Yep. Um, starring Mark Hamill. Couldn't it, Fuck. Couldn't yeah. this couldn't this have been if it hasn't already been a Stephen King book? Right. It's got such a Stephen King vibe. Oh, to it, it definitely does. I like the simple premise of like an eye, like yep. possessing people or some <laughs> shit. Um, I thought the concept was really cool. I like the concept. He's a baseball player. mm Hmm. He drives home. If he would just leave the fucking cassette he was alone, re- he was reaching for his credence tapes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, hell yeah, I'm on top of the world. You know, I need my fucking credence. Where <laughs> I gotta take my seatbelt off need, for this. I need my CCR, <laughs> damn it. And it's like fucking pouring outside. He's like, no, nah, I got, I gotta do this. I, I need this. He tape. couldn't have pulled over. Like he, like, it wasn't. He wasn't on the fucking highway. <laughs> yeah, he was on a back road by himself. Yeah, and then uh, he crashed his car, and he had, what was in his eye? The glass, glass. the window. Oh, yeah, like the windshield. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Just a jagged he looks just a whole like, windshield. Uh, and there's a fucking big ass glass just sticking out of his eye. Like, yeah. It's just his whole windshield. Um, and then like, his yeah. Eye. Then he goes to the fucking hospital and they're like, and some random creepy old white guys just like, you know, I have a procedure that may or may not work. <laughs> And then he's like, well, what if it doesn't work? He's like, well, you just take it out and start over. And he's, and which, I mean, I would have done the same thing. I'd have I would have like, well, you know, yeah. if it's just, if we're back to square one, if it doesn't work, I'd rather see if it does. No, yeah. what, what, what's he say, though, before that? He's just like, oh, everything's fine. No, I'll go back to normal. I'll be playing soon. And they're like, uh, dude, you uh, lost no, a fucking bro. eye. Oh, yeah, because, like, <laughs> he, he just didn't, didn't realize know. Yeah. That's the eye he uses to the, see the ball. The phantom limb, to, man. But he was just like, oh, I, I need that eye. I can't see I the ball. I can't see the ball. But great acting on Mark Oh, Campbell's my God, part, dude. He, he, does, he killed it. He yeah. does so many ranges in such yeah. a small movie. He's so goddamn good. Speaking of ranges, I have a clip of this movie that I loved that I had to record for Go. all of us. Go ahead. John Randall. John Randall. John Randall. John, John Randall. Randall. John Randall. I love Randall, that. Randall. John Randall. He cut him up. You see? John Randall. John Randall. John Randall. John Randall. John Randall. I fucking Pick up loved the- that scene, dude. That's my alias from Read now the on. Bible. Dude, yeah, this movie is very The Bible religious. reading scene was super cool. Yeah, yeah I really liked that. Um... I just I was watching this. I'm like, and he just like, I'm gonna tie your hair in the knot like John Randall. John Randall. I got his eye, and he's like, John Randall. John well, Randall. Well, yeah, the eye turns out to be it used to belong to a serial killer. <laughs> Who the fuck does that? And it's just, and then like, I guess with the eye, it's I don't know how that fucking makes you. Uh, I mean, I guess they're playing on the whole like. You know, the body soul, part, the body of the, the soul it, it, is in the eyes yeah, and stuff like that, or like that. The so it like became a part of him. So he, I, yeah, I can see just that. Just like in Jessica Alba's The Eye. Yeah, uh-huh. I, was, I was trying to think of what movie that was. Yeah, last that's the one uh, with uh, Hayden Christensen or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Is he in that movie? Ooh, uh, nice. That was like The Eye, two thousand six, I believe. Maybe. Let me Google this real quick. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. I do love the part though. Um, 2008. Not, I was yeah, close. Yeah, I love the part where like he's out in the back digging the grave. Mm-hmm. Like he's digging the thing, and his wife's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm digging your grave." Mm-hmm. And then like, oh, yeah, I had that, that on was, here too. That was crazy. That was such a I good scene. Play it. Okay, hold on. Because I want, I, I want to relive it. Because that was like, this is definitely my favorite of the three. Just because Mark Hamill crushes it, he really but, does. But, Damn. I have to finish digging your grave. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, God damn. Yeah, that's and he looks so fucking evil when he said that it. Too. I do yeah. that. I is really good. Well done. Like it's just super black. I want and him in more horror movies. I wonder. If, I do too. I wonder if. Uh, I wonder if that's where someone was like, you know what? Let's use him for Joker. What year did that come out? <gasps> uh, this came out ninety uh, three. Uh, Batman's already was already a thing. The By Batman animated. Yeah. The animated series? Yeah, they started that in the 80s. No way. No way yeah, dude. they uh, got everybody on board in like the 92. Late 92, but it started in the uh, early 90s. Yeah, because they had to start late 90s. Yeah, 80s. voice acting, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, but he, yeah. Uh, huh. Man, yeah. Mark Hamill, so, so many ranges. So probably being the Joker got him the job for this movie. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> too, yeah. Um, but I thought it was a lot of this fun. this was before Village of the Damned. Yeah. yeah. So him working on this probably is what got him in the Village of the Damned. True. And that's honestly. Shame. That's a fucking. <laughs> <And that's shame. laughs> he did. O- he did okay in that movie. All right. It was the best part of that movie. It was literally the. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Hold God, on, George. Damn it. You wait it, one fucking second. It never fucking ends, does it? Oh, are we rolling out. Shame. Yours is louder than mine. Shame. 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 <laughs> shame on shame you, Mark Hamill. George. No, Mark Hamill. Oh, Mark Hamill. Okay. And George too for picking that movie. God but. damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week, damn it. Just Let when it you die. Thought it wasn't coming back. Let it die. Um, it but won't. yeah, man, this is a lot of fun. Toby Hooper definitely had a lot. It seems like he had a lot of fun directing oh, yeah. this. Um, nothing really much happens. Like, they literally, like, he starts going crazy because he's seeing things. He finds out the eye is a part. Uh, John Randall's eye, who used to f- uh, sexually assault dead corpses and tie girls up. They all had blonde Which hair. Which he does do in this movie. Which he does, he does do in this movie. Um, Bites her. Yeah, he does bite her. Yeah, he loses you it in the bed. You fucking bit me. Um, and what else? I was trying to think of the, his mother. His, I mean, the cause of it all is his mother. His mother was abusive. Um, and that crib scene was actually, which is all very. It's uh, that's one of the big three things for like FBI profiling for serial killers. Oh yeah, killers nature and stuff versus is, nurture, man. Mm-hmm. 
She burns with a she burns her baby with a fucking cigarette. So yeah, you're, you're you're creating. That's why like the whole you know serial killers aren't born. They are uh, created. They, they are created. Yeah, that's 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 how Ed Kemper that's for got sure. made. Yeah, <laughs> so, or so became what he was. So, if yeah. you've never watched these movies, check it out. I mean, like I said, it's on YouTube. Uh, it's a short hour and a half watch for three. It's a lot of. I mean, it, demand it, for more too. Yeah, demand for more because this would be a fun thing to see come back. What's John Carpenter doing right now? Uh, Besides nothing. writing the music about, for the new, he's Halloween. going on tour with his band, playing all the music from Halloween. His son's in that movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in, that, in that band. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I mean, he's doing things like that, but I don't, I don't think he's ever gonna like get back into direction. Oh, and the score, fucking. Perfect. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, John, Carpenter, John Carpenter. Yeah, it's if there's one thing he does well with all of his movies, even if they're stinkers, it's the fucking scores. Um, that'll never fail us. Yeah, that will never fail. But you know, check it out, man. It's on YouTube. It's a fun movie. You get to see John Carpenter wield a chainsaw in the beginning, so that's fun. Um, Six then, body bags out of ten. Oh my fucking god. Tom Arnold is in it at the end. Uh, America's wh- sweetheart, Tom Arnold. Yeah, man. Tom I love Arnold. Him, man. At the end, you find out that John Carpenter's the uh, the coroner. He's actually dead. Hence yeah. why he's able to drink from hell to hide. Um, and they actually do an autopsy on him, and it's Tom Arnold, and it's fucking Toby Hooper walking in. And Toby Hooper's like, man, I'm going to go get a fucking... I, I fucking love Tom Arnold. Yeah. I mean, I love True Lies, but I went and saw Tom Arnold do stand-up randomly once, mm-hmm. and he was fucking hilarious because he just told stories, which you wouldn't fucking believe. Oh, and then I tweeted saying, wow, wow right. Tom Arnold was really funny, and I tagged him. He retweeted me and responded to me. Whoa. And, like, he responds to a lot of people. And, like, I tweeted at him again. Then he responded to me again. Oh, well, you're friends. Su- he's what such a heck? nice dude. You're Respond- friends. Wait, wait. Hit him up right now. Hit him right now. Uh, hey, you, Tom, you, you, it's my birthday, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get a tweet back while we're on this fucking Dude, podcast. guys, guys, guys. What if I offered to sell my Marilyn Manson ticket so that we could go see John Carpenter at the Hollywood Palladium on Halloween? Where at? In Hollywood? In Los Angeles. You know we mm. have a spooky empire that we can rent. Uh, but it's not on the 31st. It's, yeah, it's on Halloween. That's true. Hmm. Ah. Let's figure this out. Let's make this work. Oh, shit. But uh, <laughs> George broke. said how many body bags out of body bags? He said six. I need six. I do a 7.5. I, I would I would say six, too. I, six I, six I agree with on. the six. I agree with six body six bags. Six body bags out of ten. For sure. Um, Let's move forward. I'm moving on. Vampires. 1998. Vampires. Talk about it, drag. Talk about no. We're talking about vampires. We're talk- yeah, um, vampires. I mean, like I picked it because it's a fu- for me. It's a fun watch. I remember watching yeah. it as a kid and just kind of like just just, enjoying it a little bit. Okay, I just forgot the pacing of this movie. Yes, it's, 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 I agree. And the, it's and got then- James Woods in it. Okay, like it's James Woods wearing a leather jacket, killing shit. Saying classic one-liners. Listen, all yeah, I'm saying cool. is this uh, movie also was Alec Baldwin too. <laughs> Fuck. Alec what did he say? He said Alec Baldwin, guys. It's fucking his brother. It's fucking Doug Baldwin. Baldwin. Doug, Daniel Baldwin. Dang, no, yeah, whatever. Doug Baldwin is the wide receiver for the Seahawks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> whatever. Funny Baldwin. story. His though. his line of uh, "How do you like your steak, bitch?" And yeah, then burns the fucking. Vampire. That'd be like a Scooby Doo episode. Yeah. <laughs> James Woods and wide receiver <laughs> Doug Baldwin. <laughs> <going> <laughs> <on> <laughs> <vampires>. <laughs> But um, just so you guys know, it's 1998, and it's about a rec- uh, recovering from an ambush that killed his entire team. A vengeful vampire slayer must ret- uh, retrieve an ancient Catholic relic that should it uh, that excuse me should it be acquired by vampires will allow them to walk in the sunlight. The fat guy in the team was in a uh, he was in a uh, Sons of Anarchy. He was also in American Satan. He was yeah. also in Thirty Days of Night. <laughs> And the list goes on. He drove the giant fucking auger machine that killed a bunch of vampires. Did he yes. really? Oh yeah, he shit. Did. Mm-hmm. Um, Which I love, love, love oh, yeah, that yeah. movie. I mean, I we gotta li- do a podcast on that. We this do. Um, this vampire movie is different from most because it's not like a gothic feel, right? That no. you're usually used to. It's when it comes an action to, movie. It's an action western esque movie. Um, it's got some cool kill scenes, dude. Hands Valak down, like, uh, makes a return. We have a, uh, the main vampire is Valak. Yeah. Which I uh, he's literally one of my favorite iterations of a vampire ever. Yeah, dude, he's I, such I a badass. Him. He's visceral and 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 just so animalistic, but he's also like suave, like a, and like composed, you would think, yeah. and composed like you think a vampire would be. But he will slice and dice if he fucking has to. And well, I, I mean, dude, he fucking awesome. goes in. He's like, they, dude, that badass scene in the fucking hotel room. Yeah, yeah the sundown to, hotel. Yeah, or sun god, the sun god. My thing is like, this is almost like when did Dusk from Dawn come out? Uh, before, uh, this this. Came, before this, before this, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, Cause I, I I was watching this and like as, uh, older now being like wow man like yeah dusk from dawn like this really is like the same well thing. this is a, this is like a vampire movie straight up through and through dusk till dawn you don't realize you're seeing a vampire movie till halfway through the movie yeah, yeah. 
Um, the beginning though was fun. They go into the fucking place. They uh, the den. They kill all those vampires. Then we see Valet come out of the fucking ground. Very cool how they would drag the vampires out into yeah. the sunlight. Dude, and they just combust. Doug Ball, um, Doug Baldwin again. God, <laughs> Daniel Baldwin would just sit there eating them like shit. Let's fucking sitting there eating snacks. Like I'll press the button and drag them out, and yep. they'll fucking shit. They'll fucking combust. Fuck that it. was sick. I, I like that. That used to practical effects. Like watching mm. the vampires explode in the sunlight was a lot yeah. of fun. Well, what was yeah. cool too is that like a lot of them because like they were like being dragged out and like their arms would be up, kind of like shielding them from the light. Dude, their arms would always combust first. Yeah, Re- like yeah. It was the first thing to like hit the sunlight, which is pretty cool. Rewatching this after watching Ghost of Mars, it's kind of like the similar like editing like mm-hmm. skills. Yes, but it gets got- but it gets a little bit more of a pass because yeah. it was three years prior. Exactly. <laughs> So um, those are the '90s. Sorry if I would have picked a bad movie from they three actually, years earlier. The thing about this is, like, the production well, value isn't so great on this movie. No, that's because they cut the fucking budget by like two thirds. Yeah. yeah, like that's a pretty good. That's a good amount of money if you're talking twenty three million dollars. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, imagine like that two thirds being back in the budget. What? How much more they could? Was have it done? like Willem Dafoe and Dolph Lundgren supposed to be? Yeah, yeah. James Wood's character. Yep. yep. And then James Wood was. Uh, he wanted to improvise a line and. John Carpenter was like, that's fine, but you have to say this one line. He would do Carpenter's version, then he would do his own, and they would pick which one was better. And John Carpenter was like, he had actually a lot of really fucking awesome ideas. It's James Woods. He's he's not a bad actor. (laughs) Willem Dafoe and Dolph Lundgren. Willem Dafoe. Wait, what? He took down Jaws. Wait a minute. No. James Woods, isn't he? The sheriff from Jaws? Yeah. I'm getting the bell ready. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Mike, Mike, yeah. just confirm it for me because oh, hold that, on, because that actor's dead who played the sheriff. So everyone, you're talking about the original, <laughs> yes, Jones, right? Yes. Let me let me control. I might be this. wrong. James. <laughs> no, it's right there. Who's the sheriff? Oh, yeah, I'm wrong. Say it out loud so everyone knows. Roy, <laughs> Roy Schneider. <laughs> Schneider. <laughs> he looks like that guy. Oh no! Finally. Finally! Patrick has it's first. A, yep. It's not first me! First shame, though. There you yes! go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean... Fuck you, Patrick. I like the <laughs> fucking, fucking yikes, Pat. <laughs> Damn. Jesus fucking Christ. Over here fucking I saying up. fucking things. <laughs> Goodness um, gracious. But yes, the uh, <laughs> the party scene good. at the fucking um, ho- the motel, and then when Valet comes in, yeah. and just fucking obliterates... Oh uh, my god! Our our character from what's his name? He's the guy from uh, Sons of Anarchy. He uh, plays Caitlin, but his name is Mark Boone Jr. Um, he gets split right in half with fucking Valak's <laughs> hand. The yep. best, the best, Valak just goes the shop. best use of Practical. Carpenter-esque uh, prosthetics, like oh, yeah. stuff in the thing. Yep. Get a little bit of that, dude. No, my my favorite thing from that whole hotel room scene is when, like, dude, he fucking punches through a dude's fucking chest and then chokes a girl on the fucking other side and kills a girl. Yeah, it was crazy, just like, right? I was like, holy fucking shit. Yeah, that was that was that scene was bananas. He just strolls up in there like, all right, and then the fucking starts. <laughs> There's dude, nothing you can do. Fuck, I'm gonna slaughter starts everyone. Starts goddamn no. Judy chopping everyone. <laughs> <and> fucking, <laughs> then he grabs karate, karate, karate. <laughs> fucking, he grabs another fucking girl and uses her as a fucking shield while yeah, bullets are yeah. flying out. He's just like, all right, fuck this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. This Valak cool. is badass. You don't fuck with him. Yes, yes. He was he was very very fucking cool. Um, the whole coming out of the dirt thing was cool. That was fucking awesome. I love too. that. Yeah. I like that whole thing. Is like that's where kind of they went at night and shit mm-hmm. like that. Like instead of going to the coffins. And yeah. Dark and then yeah. who shows up at the party beforehand though is Cheryl Lee, also known as Laura Palmer from Ooh, Twin Peaks. Yeah. Oh. And what is she? What does she play in Twin Peaks? I'll tell you. She plays a woman who screams a lot, and who also uh, has sex for money. Uh, what is she in this? <laughs> a prostitute who screams a lot. <laughs> And SX for money. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty pretty much. Yeah. Typecasted. Uh yeah, definitely typecasted. Um she was fun. She became a vampire. He bit her in the thigh. Well, yeah, it's a fem- massage her vagina. Artery. That's an artery. Yeah. yeah. One of the main yeah, one yeah, of the, the femoral, biggest femoral, artery. The femoral yeah. artery. So it makes um, sense. No, I know, I agree. I just it was just hilarious. That, she's good looking. Um then she becomes I'd a bit. bite her there, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it is your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to a mean. I like that James Wood goes back after, you know, um, after the attack to bury all his buddies, and he's just, like, staking dead people and cutting their heads off by himself. If there was ever a moment and for throws them the, all in the bag. Uh, heavy metal guitar sounds to be thrown into a movie, right there. 
Perfect, yeah. You did it in Ghost of Mars, Carpenter. You can do it again. It I mean, works so I mean, well. Um, but I mean, like, this didn't have, like, a fucking I know. new metal rap rock no. vibe to it. <laughs> but what if it did? But it was <laughs> and no, no Ice Cube either. No Ice Cube. Yeah, no, no Ice Cube. <laughs> Just James Woods and Daniel Baldwin. That's this whole fucking movie. So Listen, man, Daniel Baldwin, you're not f- the, when you when you cast him in your movie, you're not too far off from Alec Baldwin. No, no. he looks really identical. You, dude. you get a, just a little fatter version of Alec Baldwin, <laughs> but regardless, <laughs> you get the the voice yep. of Alec Baldwin and somewhat the look. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you pay him a little less, but you know, mm-hmm. you yeah, basically you're get the same were, guy. If you were to close your eyes, you think it's yeah. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, no, you're you're buying you're buying like the Publix brand of whatever it is you <laughs> normally get. But it still works. It still works. Yeah. Um, the movie gets crazy. You know, it goes. Uh, well, James it was w- offered to Alec Baldwin, and he gave it to his older brother. Yeah, I guess he, gave he was it like, to I don't want to be part of this. Nah. nah, dude, I'm good. You, you seen Carpenter's movies lately? No, I'm good. Yeah, no. Um, but I mean, like, he goes to like the, the church in the Vatican, and like, there's this weird story that James Wood's parents were killed by vampires. I don't think he goes the- all the way to the Vatican. Well, I mean, the Vatican gets involved. I should. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um. And the church raised him to be a vampire slayer. Yeah, very bizarre backstory. Was it, he's was a it, mercenary. For was the it Vatican? after his? Was it? Was that after? Because his father became a vampire and, and bit he his killed. Mom. Yeah, dad. it was after all that because he okay. killed his dad. And they're like, listen, motherfucker, you're a kid. You killed a vampire. We're gonna take you and we're gonna take you take you to our private little right. vampire kill school. We're gonna turn right. you to Buffy. Uh, we're gonna turn you to Buffy. Dude, how cool would that show be if it was called Vampire Kill School? Oh my, <laughs> perfect. Whoa, that'd <laughs> Buffy. be sick. Put um, down your books, pick up your guns. And like that's Deadly wh- Class meets fucking Buffy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I hate that they call all the the fathers uh, Padres. Yeah. Oh, I, but like, I love how James Woods kept calling him Padre. I'm just like, oh my Padre. God, stop. And can we talk about James you Woods' got obsession Padre? with boners, Mahogany? dude? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you, stabbed that, when you stabbed that vampire, did you get a heart on? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> For all credits. Oh, when I, when I was beating the shit out of you, did you get, yeah. did you get wood? Did you yeah, get when I was on top you, of you beating the shit out of you, did were you, you get a chub? Were you getting a wood, <laughs> yeah, you wood when, when James Wood was beating you? When he gave the lowdown to the to the preacher and the thing and he just started going off like, he has some expletives in there, I won't say, but it was pretty fucking funny. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just like, what the f-? I was, was like, in 98, you know? Yeah, yeah. People weren't so progressive. <laughs> 1998 <laughs> is prominent and real. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was definitely something. Uh, I, I like those type of vampires. Thank you. I like the gothic vampires. Yeah. But these vampires were perfect for what they were. Exactly. No, they definitely were. For this Western esque film, they were. Mm-hmm. I thought. Yeah. I thought this movie was really badass. I thoroughly yeah. enjoyed no, it. I agree. I don't agree with the 38% of Rotten Tomatoes. I no. think I, I think it could be higher, and I definitely think some people are just take are beating this movie down. Yeah, um, because it is a fun watch. Does it drag a little bit? Certainly, yeah, certainly, yeah. certainly. Um, the ho- like all the hotel shit. Yeah, know, the hotel shit wasn't needed. Was no, you could take like half an hour of this movie off and be fine. Yeah, like, it, it's an only an hour and a half. It doesn't even. It feels like a good solid two hour. Because like yeah. Daniel Baldwin's in charge of taking care of Laura Palmer. I know her real name, but I'm a car Laura Palmer. Yeah, it's, uh, she in like Katrina. Yeah, but she like. She like bites him, yeah, yeah. and stuff, and so she's, she's like trying to kill a herself, vampire and stuff. But and she's a fucking vampire. Well, they're at this keeping point. her around because she has because t- when he bit her, they have the telepathic link, so that's yeah. how they're gonna find Valak. And it's just like it, it was like such a slop, like like it was very sloppily done. Yeah, you know, I agree. As far as like a, like a especially a with the concept goes. that's kind of simple, it's just an action movie. It just need it didn't need to drag on that long. I was just like at the point. I was like, get to the point. And I mean the back yeah. the backstory was like, all right, Valak's back to get this cross that's gonna let him walk by day. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I thought that was cool. I was like, oh, God. But that he was a be- deadly vampire by day. God, nobody wants to fuck with that. Hell no. We don't want that. No, yeah, sir, no. He could walk around 24 oh, 7. God. He'd be a rat. He was man. fucking dangerous at night, but imagine him day and night. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, no. Uh, Baldwin would- wouldn't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> um, And then, like, they go to this town because Valk's killing a fucking priest. Padres. Um, <laughs> kills some old lady. They're looking for this cr- giant metal cross jewel thing. That apparently was used in like an exorcism of Valak back in the day, and like so Valak's just not a vampire; he's also like possessed by a demon. Yeah, which is kind of li- I kind of like that take. I did too. Um, that's why I was kind of funny when they said Valak. I was like, wait a minute, the Catholic Church. Wait a minute, the Catholic Church. Yeah, I said that too. Vampires. I was like, did I? I was like, did I hear that right? Did they say Valak? Yeah, it's kind of cool how like the Catholic Church created vampires. Yeah. From, like, a ritual that wasn't finished. Correct. And then just, like... I like that, because I don't think it's ever yeah. been done before. No, uh, it was really cool. Uh, and I, it came from a book that was vampires, and I guess the S was a dollar sign? <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to be like that or not. I don't know, but that's kind of sick. Sounds pretty cool to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. I'd, I'd probably pick that up at the library. Yeah, so they have the, big, they have the big fight. Like, the father, like, joins... 
oh forces my God. with the vampire Fucking hunter. Finally. And then like turns out like the the archbishop that sent him on the mission was working with Valak the whole time. Mm-hmm. Gasp. And I mean like we kinda knew that was coming because like Valak knew James Woods' character, like knew his character by name. Yeah. So and he, he even like, asked knew, him, how do they know my name? Exactly. So like it was like you knew someone was writing him out. Uh, and then the father that was with them took twenty fucking years to finally, you know, anything. stop listening to the priest talk or the archbishop. Well, he's a priest, f- man. That's all he knows. Of course, it's going to take him a while to kind of like oh, suspend God. that. And then, like, the thing I don't understand is the kill scene when it comes from the father killing the archbishop uh, with that shotgun because he was very high. Blasted his and ass. And it blasted his ass. And I'm like, listen, man, you weren't close range. That type of shot wouldn't have happened. Like, he had yeah. a giant hole blow out of his back. I'm like, that happens maybe if he had the gun, like, right neck, like, right up to yeah. him. Yeah. Not like when you're on the roof, but yeah. it's still badass. Oh, it was sick. But and then yeah. James Wood was crucified. Yeah. yeah almost. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, he was alive. And it was so funny because, like, Valak, like, had the torch and he was like, come down here and finish the ritual. I'm going to burn him alive. He's like, I'm not doing that. And James was like, come on, man. My nuts are roasting over here. Like, hey, <laughs> help me out already, goddamn. Like, God. He was hung up on a cross, but like I said, on fire, and he's still cracking jokes. And I'm like, yeah. this is... About dicks. I like no, this. This yeah. is awesome. He's making a dick joke. <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah, this is great. And then the final fight scene with Valak is fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, kind of short, but the explosion is fantastic. Mm-hmm. What is it with John Carpenter and just killing off his like main protagonist with... Because he has oh, because explosions are fucking cool. Explosions are cool because and, Michael ah, Bay. Yes. And it makes and your if, shit cooler, and, man. And if you're gonna be the arch vampire of the world, yeah. you better blow then up when you it's die. It's gonna be like an epic death. Yeah, there should have been a fucking rain. They should have rained blood. Right. And then no, but Slayer, and then and then Slayer plays. It should have been. <laughs> well, then it found. Should have been flaming heads again, well, shooting one, at the fucking screen. But nope, <laughs> not again. Well, once he died, like Daniel Baldwin was like, I'm, I'm becoming a vampire, and like him and Laura Palmer were one and off, and James Woods was like, I'll give you two days. But I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you have two I, days before I, I thought, I'm going to kill you. I your thought ass. the curse was going to lift. Yeah. After you kill Valak, yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought that's what I thought was going to happen. I guess not. I mean, isn't that still vampires? Isn't that what they, vampires, I guess. Yeah, isn't that the rules they set in the movie, too? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. I mm-hmm. thought that's like how they were going to, like, she hasn't fully turned, but then again, she did turn. Yeah, yeah. she did go full vamp. She went full. Yeah, he she wasn't, did. He wasn't See, I thought she was going to be James Woods' love interest and turns into Daniel Baldwin's. Right. He, like, he had like tied her up naked to the bed, hit her. It's a did weird you know, love affair. Did you, know a ta- did you know it's a tattoo on her back? No. It's the same tattoo that Snake Plissken has on his chest. Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. Yep. Nice. Fun movie, though. I mean, there's not. Oh, yeah. I had a fun time with this. No, it's it's definitely. A it was fun way watch. better than Ghost, in, it's, Ghost uh, of Mars. It's Autumn's favorite yes. movie. They really enjoyed this movie. This is Autumn's favorite movie? Yeah. They were like, well, uh, they were going to be on the show this week, and they unfortunately they were moving. Um, but they were like, yeah, Vampires is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> And I just watched it the other day, and I was like, "That's hilarious." So it's uh, it's something. But fun fact though, yeah, you you it's like it's like you can't credit this movie with like the launch of like action vampire movies because the same year this came out, Blade came out. Blade. Ooh, really? Mm-hmm. And it was they were they were two similar movies as far as like like the bare bones go, although mm-hmm. they're two very different settings. Two, oh, yeah. you know, whatever. Two like two different vibes of a movie. Yeah, two too. different vibes, but it was both vampire centric horror action movies. Yeah, who did it better? Blade. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That, sorry, Blade. Carpenter. Dude, that first this scene is alone, into a dude. shit month for you. The, well, fir- I mean, the first scene of Blade alone is. Well, I mean, the, I feel like you know they had John Carpenter at this point was had, was a one legged man in an ass kicking competition because yeah. you get your fucking budget cut two thirds. <laughs> like, meanwhile, Blade's getting a major studio budget. Yeah, and Wesley Marvel. Snipes, who at the time was like an A list actor. Yeah, before he decided at the time, <laughs> fuck taxes. Yeah, who needs to pay taxes? I'm fucking then Blade. Had his trial. I don't pay, in Ocala, I don't pay taxes. Florida. Did he really? I'm Simon yeah. Phoenix from Demolition Man. I don't need to pay taxes. Yeah, he, he had his trial in Ocala. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, New Jack City, bro. Were you Sorry, there? You gotta pay your taxes. No, I wasn't there, but I remember like the like as a, like as a kid, it being in the newspaper in the news. Uh, but you yeah, man, Vampire is a fun movie. Watch it or don't. Honestly, I watch w- it for sure. Yeah, I would say it's worth a watch if you can.